Welcome back YouTube, it's Robert Hall and in this video I want to talk about the newly announced 8400 Pro from Godox. Before we begin, I do not have the Godox 8400 Pro in my hands. Now, I'm sure I'll get a chance to get hands on with the light before it's made available to the public. However, at this moment, it is just as new to me as it is to you guys. So Godox could have gone a lot of different directions with the 8400. I mean, is it the successor to the 8200? Is it a replacement for the 8360 version 2? Well, it's actually neither. This seems to officially make the Pro a series because it's the second light to come out in the Godox Pro lineup. And just like the 8600 Pro that came out this year, this new Pro line seems to be the best that Godox can offer in terms of build quality, color stability, and recycle time. And the new 8400 Pro looks just like a mini 8600 Pro. Ulysses Ashton posted this picture in our photography gear chat group, which is a modified graphic from Lighting Rumors, or I don't know where the graphic originated from, but this shows a size comparison between the new 8400 Pro and their previous lighting products. You can see it's the same length as the original 8600, but it's a lot leaner. It's a full kilogram or 2.2 pounds less than the Godox 8600 Pro, so it's a pretty good reduction in size. This would also come in just a little bit lighter than two Godox 8200s and the 80B2 with two bulbs. Along with the photos in the name, the specs have been released as well. This 400 watt light will have a one second recycle time, still have the same stable color mode, and it's gonna be capable of 390 full power flashes off of the battery. We also see a juiced up LED again, this time a 30 watt LED. A quick thought about power. In my Pro Photo vs. Godox vs. Brown color video, the Godox 8600 Pro metered 0.6 stops, or two thirds of a stop, greater than the Pro Photo B1X. And if the wattage on the new 8400 Pro has the same efficiency as the 8600 Pro, that would mean that the 8400 Pro will put out almost the identical power of the 500 watt Pro Photo B1X and it would do this while being two pounds lighter. Something new is that Godox actually deviated from the Bowens mount being standard on this 8400 Pro. By default, it's a proprietary mount and reflector that's designed to work with some lighter proprietary modifiers. For now, we see gels, grids, and snoots, but who knows if there'll be any soft boxes announced in the future. Okay, don't freak out. I know everyone in Godox land is using Bowens mount modifiers. They are still including a Bowens mount adapter as part of the 8400 Pro package. And this Bowens adapter mounts really low on the body. It's very flush with the bulb, so it's not obstructing the bulb in any way. They're also showing that you can put a Pro Photo or Bron Color adapter on this as well. And I said in that comparison video about Pro Photo modifiers that I feel the biggest advantage of Pro Photo products is just how convenient their OCF gels, grids, and their zoomable modifiers are. Think about it, if this new Godox 8400 Pro matches the Pro Photo B1X's output and has the same level of color stability and it's two pounds lighter and you can use it with Pro Photo modifiers, I don't know how you'd be able to justify purchasing a B1X at triple the price. And I don't know the price yet, but I'm assuming with a $900 price tag on the 8600 Pro that this light is probably gonna come somewhere in between $550 and $700. Now I think the proprietary modifiers that they offer are cool, but I've already got everything that I need via Bowen, so I'm happy to see that Bowen's mount adapter included in the kit. Now I do think a lot of the Godox 8200 and ADB2 users are gonna be perfectly fine staying put and not feel any pressure to switch to this light. But I think this product will be great for newcomers and anyone who's working outdoors a lot that doesn't wanna deal with the bulk, the big size of the Godox 8600 Pro, but they also don't wanna constantly assemble the Godox ADB2. Now I absolutely love my Godox 8200s as well as the ADB2 because it's all the power I need for outdoor work. But in using the Godox 8600 Pro, I've really got attached to that stable color mode. It's just helped me tighten up my workflow and I get a lot of confidence when I'm syncing a large group of images because I know that the color isn't gonna vary shot to shot. I'll definitely follow up with a hands-down first look as soon as I receive this light and then I'll hit you guys with a review on the Godox 8400 Pro. But for now, I'm really interested to hear what you guys think of this light. What do you guys think that the price should be? And Please, be realistic. Would you rather have all one light or would you rather have the flexibility of breaking down an 80B2 and two 8200s into multiple lights? Would you utilize the Pro Photo Adapter to get into some of their OCF modifiers or maybe even the Bron Color modifier? Let me know your answer to any of those questions in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you wanna see more, and until next time, keep on shooting, YouTube.